Okay, another try not to laugh challenge. Uh, this is Family Guy, dark humor compilation, and we'll see if the streak continues. <sighs> ah, my morning scream. <sighs> ah, Heather's gone! Mom, is Brian gonna be okay? I don't know, Meg, but this is the best veterinarian in Quahog. Brian's getting the finest care there is. He had to share the ambulance with a chicken. Um, aren't you supposed to be running around? Don't talk to me. You have a bad reputation in the chicken community. It's not all bad. I like having those Stelladoro breakfast cookies. Oh, I ate those. Sorry. Ah, oh, no problem, Brian. No problem at all. Hey, what do you say you and I do a little fishing? Goddamn captions. There's no school today. There was another mass stoning. Ugh, another school stoning. When will we learn? If only those teachers had stones, then they could stone back. Hello? Stone control? Sham, stones don't kill people. People kill people. With stones. I don't think the Founding Fathers ever envisioned stones this large. And it looks like they have medical care as well. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. All right, Rupert, here we go. Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Well, then you should go talk to her and try to clear this up. It sounds weird, but maybe it was innocent. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time you thought someone was hitting on you. Would you like to add chips and a drink? Here we go again. The wind wants my hand to go back, but I'm not letting it. I'm stronger than air. Oh my god, Dad, you lost your hand! That's all right. I can regenerate. <laughs> My name is Retep, and I am evil. Oh, what's the matter, Stewie? You a little scared in here? Don't worry, there's no monsters. Of course there's no monsters. Or are you worried about what happened to that family down the street? Those three guys broke in, beat up the father with a croquet mallet, and then stole a baby, and nobody knows where the baby is now? Is that what you're thinking about, buddy? I am now. Brian Griffin? Uh, yeah, that's me. Here you go. Oh, God! <laughs> What's in the box, Brian? <laughs> I got gotcha you good. I don't feel right. I want it back. Oh, you were with Cleveland. Until further notice, you can sleep downstairs. <sighs> oh, man. Wonder how it's going for Cleveland. Cleveland, get in here and pull your pants down. <laughs> At least turn me over to my backside. Almost home. Oh, my God! Oh, please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Oh, my God! All right, we gotta take him down to dinner. I think he's okay to travel. I know we're not gonna do this, but at this point, I almost think we should just cut him up and flush him down the toilet. Why should I trust you? You're always tricking me into going places I don't wanna. Oh, you said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No, Peter, I said supported. By the way, don't go on the train ride. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. B but we told Chris we'd be there when he wakes up from surgery. All right, we were able to fix your hernia, but you've got to stop lifting sewer hole covers. But the Ninja Turtles live down there. I'm friends with them. Hey, fat ass, I brought you flowers. But stay out of the sewers. We're trying to work down there. Thanks, Donatello. Huh. 
Guess I'm just gonna have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. Oh no. Just the weasel. Bruce and Jeffrey love each other. They deserve to be happy. And so do I. Oh, Meg, don't make this day about you. Oh, Bruce. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Could be a doctor, an architect. Hell, you could even coach the Mighty Ducks. Oh, right. The championship is on the line. It's time for a formation they're not expecting. The Flying V? No. The Stinky V. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of a personal thing. Hey, Pavlov, you dog-teasing dick! How's this for positive reinforcement? All right, where to next? I want to kill more scientists! I'm still weirded out from when I walked in on that masturbating Eskimo. Dinner time, Tickaloo. Oh, my God! Doesn't anybody knock? You should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty, or give me death. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. Hey, Lois, if I was gonna kill myself, do I slip my wrists this way or this way? Sideways for attention, long way for results. Meg is right. Okay, I'll be in the garage. Peter, put that knife down. Lois, I don't have any friends, so I'm gonna kill myself and get a full page in the yearbook. Then they can't ignore me. Who's that? I don't know. So, Ben, do you go to James Woods High? No, I'm a junior at the Meadows. It's a private school. Oh, do they do it so right at the Meadows. Class size is so small, and they really know your child. They care. Mr. Wiggins rested his thing on Jen Crosby's shoulder during a test. Yes, I'm told James Woods High leads the nation in teacher-to-student thing resting. Hi, Peter Griffin, sickly smoker. This is your heart. This is your heart on cigarettes. Any questions? Yeah, where'd you get that heart? Wow, my picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing them in half. And we're here with their reactions. Sir, how does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism, and... <laughs> and if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. Um... Oh, this is ripping off, uh, Lampoon's Vacation. Holy crap! Huh? You marry Billy Joel? It's gonna happen one way or another. I haven't felt a rush like this since I won that marathon. I'm Bob Costas, here with Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? I'll tell you, Bob, I just got in my car and drove it. And when there was a guy in my way, I killed him. During his 22-year reign, this French monarch, known as the Spider King, had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Peter? Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Well, if that doesn't suck a big black cock. Meg, I'm needed upstairs, so I'll let you finish up. Just put some blush here and here. It makes the eyes look a little less dead and hollow. Wow, that really works. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that on myself. Oh, uh, you have what we call a closed casket face. Wow, Stewie, we're gonna work perfectly together, like Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Watson, a clue. The intruder has tracked in a red clay, which can only be found near London's homosexual bathhouse. Amazing, Holmes. How did you know that? Just from, like, books and stuff. You sure you don't want to stay for the show? Nah, this place gives me the creeps, like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute. In Herbert. A minor. Herbert's still in his bathrobe. And you still won't give us an Emmy? Come on! If Modern Family did that joke, you'd be carrying them around on your shoulders. Okay. That was, once again, fairly easy. All right, 16 and 0.